Lisa Kudrow is on her way out from that old feeling actor Dennis Farina and boxing champ Oscar De La Hoya. You know, Kev, yeah, Kev no fighter has ever lost after appearing on this show. Right really? Before the fight. Yeah? That's cool. Holyfield, yeah. Oscar, cool. all of them. That's yeah. very good luck, man. That's very good. No, it's nothing to do with luck. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you giving him something or what? <laughs> It's that karma thing. Oh, karma. <laughs> now, my first guest, an Emmy-nominated actress who can be seen every week on the wildly popular show Friends. She's also starring in the movie Rami and Michelle's High School Reunion, which opens April 25th. Please welcome Lisa Kudrow. <laughs> It's a great jacket. Thanks. I have to keep an eye. Like, I always do this. About once every couple of months, somebody wears something I have to write down for my wife. So I'll, I'll get that. Oh, uh, okay. Day. But it's great. Now, what do you have there? I have evidence that I'm getting too sensitive. Um, <laughs> what? I got... <laughs> what do you mean? Well, this is what I mean. Um, I got a note, a really, really nice note from Warren Littlefield, you know, big NBC. Our guy. president. <laughs> yeah. And, but I opened it up and said, Dear Lisa, welcome to the Peacock. It's like... But I, like, he doesn't know I've been here for a few years. Oh. <laughs> well, maybe each time is like the first time. I guess. Yeah. Well, it's just, it made me really nervous, though. Does that happen to you a lot here? I mean, do you get... Do you well, find... I mean, then at the studio, yeah, because at the studio, every time I leave, they check my car to make sure, like, I haven't stolen anything. Oh, come on. I, they do. Oh, come they, on. What do you mean? They you... honestly do. About once a month, I leave, and the guard comes up, and he's like, all right, can I have your name, please? I'm in full makeup because we just shot a show too, you know. I practically have Phoebe stamps on my head and, you know, and I say, um, Kudro, K spell that. What, what is that? So I spell it for him and he goes, all right, open your trunk. I got to check. Every month. I'm the only one. You sure, it's a, you sure it's just not a guy who likes you? Maybe it's, I mean, he's an actual ABC employee. a different boy. person And he goes through time. your trunk. And they go through my trunk, like, you know, okay. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have taken Joey and Chandler's apartment home. <laughs> that, yeah, that was probably a mistake. Well, you just bought but, a house, I heard. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of neat. Now, is this your first house? Yeah, it's our first house. It took us a long time to yeah. find, too. But it was, you know, it was, it was really fun looking, though. Oh, I love to look in houses. I love to do that, just kind of poke in and be a looky-loo and pretend I'm going to buy and then get the realtor all annoyed. That's my favorite. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah we annoyed a lot of realtors. Um, but you know what they do here, which is so weird? Well, I guess because a lot of celebrities right, right. live in this town. And they're not supposed to tell you whose home you're looking at. Right. But they always would say, well, I can tell you. Oh, yeah. And, so one of them was, um, well, he used to be, well, he, the guy who used to be the artist who was called Prince at one time. Oh, okay. I don't know what his name is now. <laughs> sorry. Okay. I'm He's sorry. He's this thing. Yeah. The symbol. Yeah. yeah. He's the symbol. So we saw his house once, and it really was all purple, and that really? symbol was everywhere. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, but it was kind of fun to be in the guy who used to be the guy who had a name at one point in his life. I don't know. <laughs> you know, this is absolutely true. My wife and I bought our house. We're looking around. So we go up on Cielo Drive, and we see a real... Oh, there's a house for sale. It's been empty for a while. Okay, so we get in the house. That's very nice. So how long has this been empty? Oh, quite a while. Oh, why? Oh, there were some family problems. And I said, oh. What kind of family problems? Oh, just family problems. You know, families. I said, how long has it been empty? The guy said, oh, gosh, about, not about 20 years, but everything is updated. I said, 20 years? And my wife and I go, gee, it's a beautiful house. And we stand up there, a tour bus comes up. It's the Manson house. Oh, my God. On Cielo Drive. It was the Manson house. Where the murders were? Where the murders were. The yes. Guys, the realtor said, oh, was some family problems. They tried to show us that one, too. Did they try to show you that yeah. one? Yeah. <laughs> They've been trying to sell this house for 20 years. Yeah. <laughs> There's a silly disclosure law, we have to tell you. It's so meaningless. It's like yeah. the worst crime in the history of... Oh, yeah, there was some, uh, some uh, hippie people came. There was some <laughs> nonsense with some knives. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> a little mishap. Well, now you guys, now Friends is on a bit of a break. So what do you do to relax? Do you, are you, do you like to relax? Or you... Yeah, I would love to relax. I forgot how. Oh, God. Is it I, hard for you to relax? It's really hard for me to relax. I used to be able to just sit in front of the TV, watch right. an old movie, and I was relaxed and good. Now I have to sit in front of the TV, pick up a Game Boy, and turn the computer on and play Solitaire. So while <laughs> Solitaire, you know, I win that, then play a Game Boy Tetris thing, and then watch a little, okay, good, and then, oh, I'm a freak. Yeah, you've got to do two things at once. Three things at once. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, let me ask you about this movie. Now, this movie's about high school reunions, right? Uh-huh. Now, uh, did you go to your high school reunion? No. I went to the five-year reunion. Oh, okay. Well, that would be the same. Was that fun? Well, no. No? Not especially. <laughs> Sorry. It just wasn't. I, I don't know. There was, like, these people... We had just been out of college, though, like a year or two, right. so no one really had accomplished much. And right. except for the couple people who are really proud that they got out of jail and made it to the reunion. Oh, well, that's, well, that's good. And yeah. one guy in particular, who I guess was, like, really cute in high school, yeah. decided to, like, make my, you know, reunion night dream and talk to me. And he was like, yeah. So, no, I just got out today, hopped on my Harley and made it over here. You look good. Yeah. It's like, oh, my God. Oh, there you go. <laughs> now, were you, were you a, a high school, like, did you go to your prom and do all that stuff? Were you a big high school? No, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't go to my prom. You didn't, yeah. get a, I can't, you didn't get asked to your prom? I asked a guy that was a friend of mine who was in college to take me, and I had a, um, well, here's why I didn't go. Because I didn't like the way my dress came out. And I didn't want to be seen. No, wait, wait, wait. So, so you were all set, I mean, the prom was like... Tomorrow. Hours away or something. Uh-huh. And, and the guy comes to pick you up? No, I called him. He was oh, very oh. happy he didn't have okay. to go. No, but I had a dress in mind. It was a beautiful, like, white taffeta, very tight bodice and flare skirt. The ladies will know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. and, and the men are really bored. No, but, no. Um, and and it, this girl, I'm describing it to the sales girl, and she's like, well, I can make that for you. I can do it. It's like, okay, great. And Did she brings it. made it for you? Well, I'm not, I was, you know, too young and dumb. Oh, yeah. And she brings it over, and it's a white taffeta tube top and gather skirt. Oh! Well, come on, see? Ah, uh, I heard it. Everyone get that. You get it. With your midriff showing, it was just, oh. Well, that sounds great, actually. <laughs> no, I, How many guys want the tube top with the midriff? Yeah, I yeah. know. So this, this, so this movie is about, uh, it's you and uh, Mira Servino. Mm -hmm. And she's real good, too. She's great, yeah. You know, I, we haven't seen the film yet, but I saw a couple of clips today, and it, it looks like really funny dialogue. It is. It's really, really funny. It, it's based on, is it based on a play? Is that what it is? Yeah, there was a play called Ladies' Room, and there were these two characters, Romy and Michelle, that I think were in the play a total of five minutes. But they were very, very funny, yeah. so, you know, why not make a movie out of them? No. And it's <laughs> really, really funny, though. Were you in... The theater crowd when you were in school? Were you in with all those guys? No, not even a little bit. No, not really? No, they were too theatrical, you know, you well, know, yeah. sitting around the lunch tables and just talking too loudly about, yes, I have that cup. Like, they're not saying anything, they're just like doing it with a lot of, you know. <laughs> Verb. I, they were just. <laughs> I know what you mean. I you know. know? You mean. So I didn't want to be that. Well, let's show people this. Cause this is really funny. Now, this is. What, are you guys on your way to the reunion here, or what's happening? Yeah, we're on our way to the reunion, and we're pretending like we're business women, and we're going to impress everybody. So we're like trying to make up a lie about what we do, and then we get in a big fat fight. All right, yeah. Let's take a look. Rami and Michelle. I mean, I tried for once to be honest with you, and it blows up in my face. <sighs> You want to be honest? Okay, good. Let's be honest. I let you have the ideas. What? Yeah, I let you have the ideas so you won't feel so bad that I'm cuter. You are not cuter, Michelle. I am so cuter. It's like common knowledge, Romy. Everybody thinks so. I'm the Mary and you're the Rhoda. That's ridiculous. You're the Rhoda. You're the Jewish one. Oh, my God. I'm talking cuteness-wise, Romy, okay? And cuteness-wise, I'm the Mary. That's crazy. You have absolutely no proof that you're cuter. Oh, proof? You want proof? Okay, fine. Who lost their virginity first? Oh, big wow with your cousin Barry. I wouldn't brag about it. <laughs> Michelle's High School Reunion opens April 25th. Very, very funny. It scene. is funny. Lisa, congratulations on everything. Your new house. Thanks for coming.